I know why you're here. You want a little? Hmm? You want a little? A little help? Because I know exactly what's on your mind. Parts per billion. Maybe parts per million? Do you know what a billion is? That's a thousand million. I think. Doesn't even matter. I'm gonna teach you how to calculate parts per billion, dog. No offense to any dogs. Let's do this. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do parts per million instead. It's a little easier, three less zeros. So, the formula is grams of solute divided by grams of solution times 10 to the 6. That is 1 with 6 zeros. Isn't that a neat math trick? 6 zeros. That's a million. Not to be confused with 9 zeros, which would be a billion. So here's an example. We got 1 gram of solute over a solution that's 1,001 parts times it by a million, or 6 to the 10, and you get 999 parts per million. So here is a little illustration. Here is that one part. That is our gram of solute in red. And here we have, well, I need to make a solution that includes one part of the solute and a thousand parts of a solvent. You see, a solute plus a solvent will give you a solution. And that's what we need. Remember the formula grams of solute over grams of solution. So here I have, and I'm almost done, I promise you, I will have 1,000 dots here. So I get my 1,000 dots, that is our solvent. Now I'm not about ready to draw a million dots, or a billion dots, or a trillion. I don't have that kind of time. So we need to find the concentration. So in this drawing we have one part solute. And then we have a thousand parts of solvent. We add those bad boys together and we get the solution. So we have one part solute and a thousand and one parts of solution. Well, there's supposed to be an S there. I command the S to appear. Please? Please? Oh, there we go. So we have our concentration. Now that we have a concentration, we can multiply this concentration by a million, by a billion, and to figure out if we had a solution of a million, then how many solute chunks would be there? That's the essence of concentration. Dog. I have a very cool trick here. There is an equivalent unit to parts per million called milligrams per liter, because the difference in decimal places from a liter to a milligram is on the order of one million, or six places. But you see what I did there? I put an extra zero. I'm not re-recording this, but whatever. One million times difference between milligrams and liters. So let's get back to the problem though. We have calculated 999 parts per million. So we took our concentration, multiplied it by a million, and we, have, we would have 999 happy pieces of solute in a million parts solution. That's a crappy smiley face. Try it with a billion.